Today we're going to take a look at how to build a set list inside the Back on Stage app. So uh, at this stage, we're assuming you've uploaded all of your songs and added all of your material into the music library here already. So we're looking at the music library, and you can see that here in my band I've got set up, I have a lot of songs here already. So once those are good to go, you're just going to navigate here to the set list builder. Within here, just click create new. And we're just going to add a new set list in there like so and hit create. Now the builder will open up this window down here, which lets us in the first step here actually choose all the songs we're going to be uh, putting on this set list. So all you really have to do is go down this list here and select a few of your favorite tunes, which I'm going to do like that. Once you're done that, go ahead and hit the save changes button there. Now you can see we've got the songs selected. We actually have to put them in order. So navigate over here to the reorder and edit section. Once you've opened up this tab, it uh, just isolates, narrows down the songs that you have just selected. So go ahead and reorder those however you want just by clicking on a song and dragging it. All you have to do is click and drag and you're good to go. From here, you can also assign vocalists. So for example, if your band has a few different singers, uh, and they're all on this gig, you might need to be able to tell them which song is, or sorry, which vocalist is singing which song. So you can just go ahead and click on the vocalist name to assign it. And then lastly here, if you want to calculate any uh, timing points or add any notes, just toggle that on. And from here, let's say for example, um, I can already see up here that this particular set list is uh, 24 minutes in length, but maybe I need a break in here somewhere. Uh, let's say I want to see how long these four songs take up time, so maybe I put a break after those. I can see, okay, 11 minutes, that looks good, so I can have a break there if I want. And then if I want to add any notes in here, all you have to do is click on that notes button. Let's say we're going to make this song our encore. I'm going to make it nice and big, center it, let's make it red. And there we've got a nice note. Uh, and if we want to leave the note and uh, notes and timing points on the actual live set list, make sure that you leave this toggle turned on after you've saved your changes. So go ahead and hit save one more time. Now we've got the order of the set list actually figured out, all our vocals, uh, vocalists assigned, and we've calculated some time, made some notes. The last step is to publish it. So we're going to hit the publish button. And over here, we've got a list of all the bookings in the system. So we can just attach this set list to particular bookings. And here's my nine piece dance band within the JNT wedding booking. And I'm gonna use it on that service. And then I just hit attach. And now this, this set list has been attached to that booking. I can attach it to any more bookings I may need or just hit the perform mode to go and actually perform this set list. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Clicking on that brings us over to the live set list. We can see it's left our timing note in there and we've got our encore note at the bottom here. Uh, any musicians can now log in here and access this set list. Of course, all the details on any song can be accessed right away like that. And if anybody wants to see the PDFs associated with them, just an opening of that button can show them their sheet music, lyrics, or whatever else you've got put in there. And uh, once we're in the performance mode here, we can navigate around to different set lists right up here. So we can see the original set list I had and the new one I just created. So if you decide you want to play some songs from another list tonight, you can easily switch over to another one there. And then to get back to our main system, just hitting the exit button will take you right back to your dashboard. And again, just to show you one quick trick, if you are attaching set lists from within the bookings themselves, right under each of your services, you'll see this attach set list button. Just click on that and all the set lists you have in the system will be loaded here. So we can just choose one of those, hit attach. And now that set list is attached uh, to this booking that way as well. Um, so, of course, all your musicians are going to log into the system and access the set lists this way. They'll come to the booking page. Just click on the link and they'll get to it that way. So that is how to build a set list here inside the Back On Stage app. I hope that helped you out. Um, please leave some notes in the comments if you've got any questions and uh, we'll be happy to answer you. Thanks for watching.